All right, today we're going to take a quick look at the script authorization flow in Google Sheets. This will function the same whether you're using Sheets or Docs, um, Gmail, so forth. I have a menu here. Um, this is from the script. Um, so if I pull the script up here. Um, you'll see I have a menu that's displaying this here. So you, if you have a menu, you can do this authorization from there. Um, I'll just click on this to start this off and show you this how it goes. Um, if you don't have a menu, you don't need to add one. Um, you can just go to your script editor, which is extensions and app script. Go to the script editor and then pick a function and you can just hit run. And then it's going to do the same flow um, and pull that up. So let's go ahead and just continue from here. So click your Google account. And then this is the warning that everyone gets freaked out about. So I will take a second just to explain this. This is Google's disclaimer that they didn't build this app. And so that's why they have this here. I'm sure their legal team made them do this. Um, but that's what this is about. This is basically saying Google hasn't verified the app. Um, the only way to get rid of this is to go through their whole add-on submission flow. And so obviously you're not going to do that for just a quick script. And so unfortunately we're kind of stuck with this. Basically, if you design the app, um, you should be perfectly okay to go. If you did not design the app, I would at least uh, recommend reviewing the app real quick. And I'll show you a little bit when I go through scopes of kind of how to tell what it's looking at, what it's getting. So if you're good to go, if you take a look at the script or you did it yourself, go ahead and click on advanced. And then you have to go down here to go to untitled project um, or in which case, whatever project name is here. So I didn't fill one in. Um, so let's just call it untitled project. Otherwise it'll be called whatever is up in here. So let's go ahead to untitled project. All right, so this is the part where it takes the scopes. And so here it's asking for access to spreadsheets. And so the reason why it's asking for that is we have spreadsheet app in our script editor. So that's what it's asking access for. I'll explain that here in a moment in a little more detail. But basically, once you reviewed it, go ahead and click allow. And now your script is authorized and ready to roll. And so whatever you're going on, um, it's ready to go. Let's now review a little bit more on scopes. And so first of all, you can restrict scope. So if you notice, it asked access for all my Google Sheets. And so let me look in here. So in here, app script, I added this only current doc. And so what this does, this little piece of code does, is it actually prevents the script from asking access for anything beyond the sheet that this script is tied to. So it's only gonna look at this Google Sheet. So this is great if you don't want other people to modify your code and potentially access your other Google Sheets. And so let's go ahead and just run through this one. Actually, let's just do this one from the script menu over here. So authorize script. Continue just like we did before. Select our Google account just like we did before. And now you can see we have a slightly different it says view and manage spreadsheets that this application has been installed in. And so this one's only asking for access to this current Google Sheet, not all of your Google Sheets. So this is a good thing to do if you're not going to be accessing other Sheets. So if we click allow, um, that's it. We don't have to go through the whole um, warning system. And so if you're only needing a script that's maybe running some macros or an on edit or something like that, um, then that's a very good way to restrict the access, make the flow a little easier and so forth. Now, let's say we have an on edit. So if we go to here and let's say you have an on edit function. So we can actually get rid of this menu here. Let's just say you have a quick on edit function that's just running some stuff on your Google Sheet. You can also add this uh, at current doc. And so I just wanted to show you this because people get confused when they do an on edit and they get this error, uh, cannot read properties of undefined. And so this is an error that you get when you run the on edit from the script editor. So if you get this error, it doesn't mean it's not working correctly. All it means is that you're running it from the script editor and what it's designed to do is to log something from when you make a change here. So if we say change, if we go back here. So it should be running now. There we go. Now it's logging that sheet name. So if we go back here, you can see I'm console log. So if we check this, there's that 
authorization flow, which is our tab name. So it is working correctly. So if you have an on edit function and you run it from here to authorize it and you get that error, don't fear, just go ahead and check to see that it's running properly in that case. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out and run back to our initial one. And I just wanna explain the scopes here. And so let's go ahead and jump back in the editor. So every resource you name will pop up in the authorization flow. So if we do, let's say let drive equals drive app, uh, let's just say get folders, uh, root folders, something like this. Doesn't matter which one you do. So if we save this and I go ahead and click authorize, it's gonna pop up with uh, authorization required again um, because I added a new scope. And so anytime you add a new one, it's gonna ask again. The one thing to keep in mind is if you have that only current doc, it actually is going to kind of cancel each other out. So if you initially start with a script that's just tied to the Google Sheet and then later decide you need to um, access maybe a, a Google Doc or your Gmail, something like that, make sure to go ahead and delete um, this part from your code just so that works correctly. So again, this is going to ask, let's say, let mail equal Gmail app. Uh, and let's just say get inbox threads. So let's go ahead and just run just enough through this to see what it's asking for now. So advanced. And so now you can see we have get your email, Google Drive files, and Google Sheet spreadsheets. So it's asking for each one that I've um, added there. So if we hit cancel just to deny that, we'll get that error there. So one thing to keep in mind is if you're only sending email, you can actually change this to mail app. And then we actually have different methods in this case. Let's say get remain data quota. So the advantage of this is it doesn't actually give access to your Gmail account. So if we go here, click on this, go to untitled project, you'll see it send email to you. So this is a great way if you just wanna be able to send emails through the script, but not give access to your Gmail, then it's a great way just to switch that around. Um, just use the mail app instead of the Gmail app. Um, and that doesn't give anybody access using the script um, access to your Gmail account. All right, so that's the basics. Um, if I just review here, this is kind of the simple uh, sample scopes we got. URL fetch app is how you access external services. Let's go ahead and stop here. So for example, um, if we do let Google search equal URL fetch app fetch. And then we'll check this one. This will be the last one we'll run through right here like this. And this will then prompt connect to external service. And so this is the one that you're gonna see in a document when it's either retrieving or sending data. And so this is where I'm gonna kind of wind up um, for today, just as far as security. And you may just wanna do a search in this. If someone, for example, built a script for you, and let's say you have some, some sensitive data in your Google Sheet, and they're just writing a script to move some data around. So if you make a quick search, and uh, you know you could use Control F here um, and look for this URL fetch app and see if it shows up in here because that's going to tell you if they're making an external call somewhere and just verify what those are there for because if it's sending data out from your Google Sheet then they may be using that data in a nefarious way. Uh, one last thing to keep in mind is you may see a library here so right now you can see there's no libraries this is empty. If there's a library here or something like that that you don't recognize and then you see some functions there that could also be sending out data so this is kind of a security thing that i'm just wrapping up with here just to help keep you guys safe if you don't really understand how app script works then you can kind of take a quick look and tell if something's going awry so things keep in mind if they're not supposed to be making an external call somewhere to external service and so this url fetch app let's say if they're pulling data for you from a service they're probably going to use url fetch app or potential library but if it's just supposed to be accessing the google sheet then this would be suspicious